today there is no such thing as privacy everything is out there everything is public you know facebook instagram youtube gumroad whatever you out there and the key to being out there you know being a public person to whatever degree is know how to deal with people especially some negativity hatred you know all that right and you need to learn how to distinguish between uh, you know constructive criticism and bullshit and if you know it's bullshit you need to learn how to take that bullshit and convert it into something that benefits you and that's a real skill this will not only teach you how to grow a thicker skin but also teach you how to respect yourself respect what you do and send a message to intellectually less fortunate people that you mean business okay and Trust me, you don't want to argue with, with crazy people or idiots because you will never win. There's a famous quote from Mark Twain who said that, you know, never argue with stupid people because what they're going to do is they're going to bring you down to that level and beat you up with experience. And it's really true, okay? You are wasting your fucking time. So don't. Arguing with morons, you know, it's just, it's completely pointless because they're driven by emotion, by lack of logic and, you know, no rational thoughts and also they're mostly stupid, okay? What they do is they seek approval of other groups just to feel safe. They're weak. You don't want to be like them because you're not weak, okay? Now, look, we are artists and we like to create stuff. We like to put our stuff out there to get feedback to feel better about what we created, right? Because that's what gives us this power to create more. I get that. But uh, be careful because you're going to get a lot of criticism that sometimes isn't really correct. And this may affect you, okay? So don't let it affect you. Try to consciously start learning how to differentiate between constructive feedback and just pure bullshit. That's really, really important, okay? So the key to dealing with, you know, this bad energy, kind of negative feedback, hatred, or just pure idiots, is to turn that event into something that benefits you. And I'm gonna give you some really good example, okay? Last year, in 2023, I had this email from a guy named Matt. You can see it on the screen. He was really pissed off about something. I don't know, fucking, he had a bad breakfast, or his mom didn't hug enough. I don't give a shit. But he was fucking pissed about something, okay? He was spewing acid all over the place. Now, we never really replied to him because what's the fucking point? What we did instead is we ran the Mutt's Redemption bundle sale, okay? So we ran a campaign that used this email and, you know, this message that he sent us to turn it into profit. And let me tell you, it went pretty well because in a day or so we made 10 grand and we donated half of it to Blender Foundation. And as you can see on the screen, we became the biggest single donor um, that year for Blender Foundation. So we contributed to developing the software that we all like using. People got great content because they got courses at a really good discount. You know, we made a bit of money, also helped Blender and Matt is still pissed off. And who wins? Of course we win. So now, you see, that's how you deal with this stuff. And we get messages like this all the time. There was this Reddit drama, you know, so we told them to fuck off. And, you know, people getting pissed off about some, I don't know, something we mentioned about pronouns. I, actually, I can put it on the screen. You can see, you know, just idiots, okay? You know, taking anything that you put out there and, and just converting it into some kind of drama. Great, because for us, this is free advertisement. Every single time. Reddit makes a post, people come to our website, and I'll tell you what happens, okay? They come because they're curious. They say, oh, what the fuck is this about, right? Then they see that content is good. They go to the testimonials page, and they see, like, what the fuck? You know, they, these guys actually created good content. So what's, what's going on here? They buy it, and they like it. So all they do is they create free promotions for us. So it's kind of like in Aikido, you know, you just redirect the energy, and use it against your opponent. And that's how you deal with it. That's the best way to deal with it. Always think how to convert this, you know, kind of redirect this energy. Otherwise, it's going to affect you. Because when you're going to get involved in an argument, you emotionally involve yourself in that argument. That's why, for example, lawyers do not defend someone they're emotionally involved with. Because it's going to cloud their judgment. 
as a reason for it. So the simple formula you need to follow is to trigger, find the right idiot, and profit. Okay? Now, when you do this, it's really important not to be a dick on purpose unless someone is a complete fucking tosser, you know? And occasionally, I'm just gonna fucking slap really hard because I don't give a shit. But when, for example, someone comes to you with some constructive criticism and they actually may be correct, there's no need to be a dick, okay? You know, you're gonna feel a bit kind of wobbled emotionally because someone is bombarding what, you, what you've created or what you said. But think about it, you know, constructively and think maybe, you know, maybe they're right, okay? Sometimes, you know, like with parents, they're gonna fucking tell you something you don't like, but actually 10 years later, you're gonna be like, shit, they fucking were right, you know, I was wrong, right? So don't be afraid to admit you're wrong because that's also progress. Remember, any friction, right? Any friction in your life, it's fucking progress. The reason why you don't like studying sometimes and it's hard, because if it was easy, everyone would be good, okay? You know, when you go to gym and you exercise, it's gonna, you know, you're gonna have sore muscles, it's gonna hurt. Why? Because you're growing, you're tearing the muscle tissue, and when you rest, the muscles grow. That's progress. So when you put yourself outside the comfort zone, it's gonna only benefit you in the long run because you will be able to push harder, okay? You're gonna discover things in you that you thought were impossible. You know, maybe your parents kept you under the some kind of a dome or you were, you know, you were in some kind of a very safe environment and suddenly you get fucking, you know, culture shock. Great. If it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger and it's really true. But sometimes it's gonna come a time when you need to fucking slap hard. You know, sometimes someone is moaning or being retarded for no reason, okay? So you need to fucking slap them. And don't feel bad about it because, you know, unless you don't have it in you, you know, you need to be kind of true to your character. You know, I'm very direct. I don't give a shit, right? You know, I'm from Eastern Europe. Over there, we just fucking say it as it is. If you don't like it, fuck off. No one gives a shit, right? But we're not dicks on purpose. We're just fucking direct, okay? And if someone cannot take it, they can fucking emigrate. I don't give a fuck. Another way of dealing with situations like this is simply turn it into humor, just be, you know, lightheartedly sarcastic like I did with this comment. Some fucking idiot told me that, you know, I made a typo in the net. Who gives a fuck? You know, just ask him about how's Karen. And he actually liked my comment, which made me laugh, okay? So, you know, when you detach yourself emotionally from whatever is kind of bombarding you, you'll see a tremendous improvement in how you can handle this. You, you cannot get involved emotionally because that's when you're going to start losing. Get involved emotionally only with those people who are worth it, okay? Who you know that this energy you're going to and this kind of care you're going to put into them, they will appreciate it, but also they're going to improve. And that's where I, for example, like to invest my time. I don't mind spending, you know, going out on limb and spending my additional time for free to help people when they really need help but I need to see that they really genuinely want to improve. And it gives me great pleasure to see people just grow, right? Because as a teacher, that's what I like seeing. You know, if you're going to be better than me, fucking great. There's a lot of people like this in our community, you know, I could name a few of them, like Andrew, for example, who is just running his own, own studio right now, and he knows way more about game dev than I do. You got Razor, who is just really exceptional at, you know, 3D printing and also sculpting. You got Dustin, who just, you know, went crazy with sculpting in ZBrush, and now he's on a really high level studying with people like John Hill. So, you know, or like Marco Plath, right? I'm not on that level anymore, but that's where we push them to, and that's our job. So again, don't be scared of bad feedback, of negative feedback. Embrace it. Just remember, you need to know how to use it, how to kind of leverage this energy without affecting you, right? But when you get hit with constructive criticism and someone is actually better than you and they actually genuinely want to help you by being direct and telling you literally what's wrong with it, you should appreciate that. So, for example, during the calls, you know, when we run calls on Hard Surface Academy, I'm always very direct if I don't like something. I'm not going to say and pamper your fucking ass saying, oh, you did a great job. Fuck that. This doesn't teach them anything. If you want to teach someone something and you know that it should be done differently and you have the expertise to back it up, fucking say it because you're actually doing them a favor, right? Just say it in a way 
that's not gonna make them shut down. Do you see the difference, right? But again, when you're gonna, you know, be uh, confronted with some fucking prick who's a, just being a dick for no reason, fucking slap them, like Cartman. Have you got any candy? No. My mom says I ain't to eat no candy here. I'm supposed to lose weight. Will somebody put this retard out of his misery? So to sum it up, you know, these days you cannot escape the public opinion. You cannot escape people reaching out to you or commenting on your stuff. Whether it's positive or negative, it's gonna be there, right? So don't hide your head in the fucking sand. Pull it up and, you know, just observe. Make a judgment who is worth your time and who isn't and when you should engage, you know, in some kind of a kefaffle and whether it's worth it or not, redirect a kind of a negative energy and convert it into something that's gonna benefit you. Do you know what I mean? So be smart, yeah? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.